Okay, so which is the correct equivalent ratio? So we have this ratio right here, three and one half days to six days. And then we have some options over here, which are uh, ratios themselves. Obviously, this is a multiple choice question. And one of these ratios is equivalent to this ratio. So let's gonna take a look at our choices. A is one, two, three. B is one, two, four. C is seven, two, 12. D is five to nine and E is 11 to 18. All right, now, if you can figure this out, we'll go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Feel free to use a calculator, uh, by the way, but uh, I'm gonna encourage you not to use one, but either way, put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, let's take one more look at the question before I show you the answer. So we have this ratio. So we have uh, three and one half days to six days. Now, in mathematics, this word two, when we're talking about ratios, is equivalent to the colon notation, all right? So when you see this colon right here, that means the same thing as the word two. But uh, again, one of these ratios is equivalent to this ratio. Uh, which one is it? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct choice is C, seven to 12. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100% and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional expert in the area of ratios. And if you're an expert in ratios, you probably know a thing or two about proportions and rates. This is tremendously important in mathematics. And if you didn't get this right, well, I'm glad that you're watching this video because this is really important stuff and it's not that difficult. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. And I'm actually gonna show you two approaches. Now, uh, when you have uh, a multiple choice uh, question, okay, in mathematics, so for those of you that are students taking tests, I, you know, you should just love multiple choice questions because what should you do? Even if you don't know the answer, like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but I did select the right answer, C. Well, that is great because that's what you should do. When you are not penalized, always guess, okay? The worst thing you could do as a math student, okay, when it comes to taking a test, is to leave questions blank. You know, just write anything down, okay? Honestly, you might even get like one fraction of one point, but it could make the difference between passing and failing. All right, now I'm gonna show you two uh, approaches to um, solve this problem. Again, we are thinking about this, you know, in terms of like a test question, but first of all, we are talking about ratios, right? So which is the correct ratio? Well, what is a ratio? Well, let's go ahead and kind of review that real quick. And then, of course, we'll answer the question. So a ratio is basically a fraction, okay? So that's pretty much what it is. But uh, it is a fraction with a twist. Now, that twist is the numerator and denominator uh, are going to have the same units of measure. Now, if I have the fraction, let's say three fifths, well, this is just kind of a fraction. I could think of this as a ratio, but typically when we talk about ratios, rates, and proportions, uh, you have units of measure involved. So here is a fraction, three and one half days. Now the fraction bar is the word two, okay? Or of course we have our little colon symbol as well. So three and one half days, two, six days. Now the units of measure, for the numerator and denominator are the same. Okay, so that indicates that this is a ratio. Again, it is a basically a comparison of two values, i.e. a fraction where the numerator and denominator units of measure are the same. Now, if the uh, units of measure were different, then you're talking about a rate. Okay, so that is what a ratio is. Now, uh, when you study ratios in mathematics, you often study, well, not often, you pretty much study something else called a proportion. Okay, this is really important, and this is a great uh, way to um, answer the question. All right, so here is our uh, 
uh, ratio in question. We have three and one half days to six days. Now I'm going to think of this as a fraction because it's the easiest thing to do. So what we could do here, okay, there's different approaches we can take. I'm going to show you two uh, approaches. The first thing we could uh, do is think about proportions. Now you might be saying, hey, what's a proportion, Mr. YouTube Madman? Well, I'm going to show you here in one second. But if this ratio is equivalent to one of these ratios, let's say, for example, one third, well, if they um, are equivalent, that means they are in proportion, which means we have something called the cross product, and the cross product must be true. Now, I'm going to show you uh, this uh, cross product uh, concept in just one second. So let's say I have uh, the ratio one half, so just some sort of fraction. Okay, matter of fact, let me write this right here. Uh, 1 over 2, and let's think of another equivalent ratio or another equivalent fraction to 1 half, right? There's tons of them. How about 5 over 10? Okay, so 5 over 10, this ratio, 5 to 10, is equivalent to 1 to 2, okay? Or 1 half is equal to 5 tenths, okay? These are equivalent. Now, if this is the case, then you have something called the cross product that, uh, well, actually, kind of get ahead of myself, when you have two equal ratios, rates, or fractions, two equivalent ratio, rates, or fractions, this is a proportion, okay? This is a proportion, and if you have a proportion, then the cross product is true. In other words, if we cross multiply, 1 times 10 is what? That's 10, and that's equal to 5 times 2, which, of course, is 10, all right? So, again, when two things are in proportion, then you can kind of check the cross product. So, let's go ahead and uh, go up here to our question, and you can kind of use a process of elimination. You'll be like, all right, three and one half days, two six days. Let's just check one to three. Okay, let's see if one to three is equivalent to uh, this ratio. And this is super easy to check. Matter of fact, you don't even have to do the entire work. So let's just think about the cross product. So the cross product would be this times this and this times this. So here we have uh, six times one, which is six. So this side right here, three times uh, three and one half needs to be equal to six in order for this to be in fact a valid you know, equivalent uh, proportion, okay, or, uh, two equal ratios, okay? And you can see three times three and one half. If it was just three, just drop the uh, one half, three times three is nine. Nine is not going to be equal to six. So, you know, these two are not equivalent. So this cannot be the uh, uh, equivalent ratio. So we could just use a process of elimination and be like, all right, yeah, yeah, this is not uh, correct. So you don't even have to finish all the math. Okay, so again, I'm kind of giving you some test taking strategies and then you can kind of go through right here and check uh, the rest. All right, so that is the first thing that you can do, but there is another thing that you could do as well. All right, now uh, before I show you that other technique, let's just go through this uh, kind of um, strategy or this tactic and uh, continue to check. So we would check one to four. Or you might say, wow, one to three, let's try something different, maybe seven to 12, which is obviously the correct answer. So let's check seven to 12. And so we have three and one half days, two six days, is this uh, equal to seven to 12, or is three and one half to six equal or equivalent to the ratio seven to 12? Okay, so if you have two ratios that are equal, they are in proportion, i.e. the cross product is true. So let's go ahead and check this. So seven times six, the course is going to be what? Well, that's 42. So now we have to check 12 times 3 and 1 half. All right, so we have a mixed uh, fraction here. No big deal. So uh, we can change this to an improper fraction. So 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 halves. And then here, when we have 12 times 7 halves or 12 over 1, we could just take, take this 2, goes into 12. Uh, that would be 6 times. So 6 times 7 of course, is 42. So 42 is equal to 42. All right. Now, if there's anything that's troubling you, uh, troubling you here, like you know how to multiply fractions or ratios or proportions, you're like, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is what I'm studying, and I don't get it. Well, I'll give you some specific suggestions on how you can improve. But this is one way you could approach, you know, uh, getting the right answer on this question. All right. So this is kind of, um, you know, uh, this particular problem is not open-ended. In other words, you have choices. And when you have multiple choices on a math exam, you definitely want to use those options. 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you another simple strategy that some of you may have uh, seen, but uh, first let's go ahead and have you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely need your help, and I'm not uh, shy to ask for it because, you know, I, I can't reach my goal uh, to really, you know, growing my channel as large as possible. My whole objective is to reach as many people as possible to help them with mathematics. Now, hopefully you're getting something out of my, uh, you know, from this video. And if you are, that's fantastic. And the best way to kind of sh uh, show, uh, you know, your support for this channel is to hit that subscribe button. It really is that important. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well. But when you do that, okay, not only are you supporting me, you're also, you know, getting this video out or helping me get this video out to other people that can benefit from it. So if you don't mind, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, let's go ahead and continue on with another way that we could solve this problem. Okay, so how could we solve this problem? Well, here we have three and one half days. There are actually different uh, techniques to solve this. And if you took another strategy, that is great. But here we have three and one half days to uh, six days. Now, you could say, hmm, let's look at this denominator here, six. It, that might interest you. And we could look at our denominators here in our ratios. So uh, we could kind of test this, but let's go to seven to 12. Again, this is another way you could check this. So seven to 12, uh, you could say, well, we have the cross product, but instead of doing the cross product, let's just kind of see here, okay? Uh, and, you know, if, if you have three and one half uh, days, uh, if three and one half days to six days is equal to seven to 12. Well, let's just kind of notice, right? If we multiply six times two, we get 12. And if we multiply three and one half times two, we get seven, okay? So these are equivalent fractions. In other words, you could take this fraction and reduce it down to this fraction, okay? So this is a super easy way to, uh, you know, confirm you know, that 7 to 12 is the correct answer. And of course, you can use this technique to uh, uh, check these other fractions as well. And there's other things you could have done. You could have, you know, created decimals into this if you um, were using a calculator. But ratios, rates, and proportions are an absolute must-know critical basic math skill. Okay, I know that's a, a mouthful, but you got to understand uh, you know, working with proportions, ratios, uh, rates, fractions. This is everywhere at all levels of mathematics. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and give you some suggestions on how you can improve in this particular topic. So my first um, uh, kind of like my best work, my full instruction is going to be in my math courses, my full main course you know, uh, courses. Uh, I'm going to leave links to those in the description of this video, but you might want to check out like my pre-algebra or algebra one course. If you are not a math student and you want to learn this stuff, then check out my math skills rebuilder course. But also I have a ton of additional YouTube videos on this topic as well. But uh, either way, just make sure you learn this because this is super important in math. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.